got to remind me of that earlier. 100.9, the Creek Real Music Real Radio. But we got you, though. Yeah, I'm recording. Yes. Creekside Morning, Sony Doolin, and Charles Davis. It's time for our Making Mayhem segment yes. for the week. Alex Von Coydel is here. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm good. good. I'm good. So I uh, got a big game this Friday. Last home game of the, of the regular season. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Fan appreciation night, Friday night. I'll be your in-game host. Okay. All right. Now, now what, what, what is it going to entail fan appreciation? What is y'all going to be giving the fans besides a great hockey game? It's a surprise. Oh, okay. Cool. I like surprises. Mm-hmm. I like surprises. Just, uh, just, just suffice to say that our fans will be appreciated. Very well. That's corporate night. speak for we haven't got it all worked out yet. <laughs> is, that what that, is that what that means? Okay. <laughs> that's what that I means. didn't know that's what that <laughs> meant. Okay. Trust me, I use that all the time. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> hey, it's out of this surprise. world, though. You yeah. figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> Can't put anything past me, Alex. <laughs> Sharp this morning, buddy. <laughs> so we've got Friday night's game. Then we have a uh, a Saturday game away at Knoxville. Mm-hmm. Knoxville, as we call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be kind of an interesting week, you were telling me? Yeah. We've got a couple of players who have uh, stepped in for us and, and done a really good job in the short time they've been here. Who One we traded for at the trade deadline in Danny Caesar, yep. who scored his first goal with the Mayhem on Saturday. Okay. Um, yeah, congrats to him. It was a nice goal. And awesome. then uh, Marcus Ortiz, who d- debuted for us uh, this past weekend down in Pensacola, uh, he was somebody that we brought in who was actually dropped from Knoxville, and we picked him up oh. off waivers. And a lot of teams were scrambling to get him, and we were lucky to be able to bring him in. So, you know, they, they both played in Knoxville for at least two seasons. So I think Ortiz was there for two seasons. Caesar was there for four seasons. So Oh, so some inside so, knowledge, yeah, you might you know, say. That and some, you know, bad blood. So. Okay. All right. He I likes bad blood. <laughs> it'll be, uh, we're going to have them on line change tomorrow night cool. to, to sort of preview the weekend. So Tomorrow night, uh, line change, the Coach Leo Thomas coaches show downstairs at the Creek Stage. Gets underway at 630 Get there at 6. Yeah, get there. Get your order in. Get your drink. Get your drink. Mm-hmm. Travis was slammed last week. Yeah, which we liked. Waiting tables out there. It was, it, it, it was packed Travis. up last week, man. Yeah. I, I texted you, you know, trying to, to levy some favor with the, with the rookery people to get another person in there to help Travis out. Yeah, I got no pull. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no pull nothing. whatsoever, I man. got nothing. Cannot help you with that. They I'm throws sorry. him in the fire out there, Alex. That's what they do now. Poor Travis. <laughs> I don't have a dog in that fight. <laughs> he works so hard. He I really feel, does. Travis so does a good him. job. But, uh, yeah, last last Tuesday was packed up. This week's going to be good, too. And yeah. you got the uh, new Mayhem players, former Knoxville Ice Bears. Why don't they just call them polar bears? That's what they are. That's what they are. You ever it's heard of ice, an ice bear? Ain't no ice bear. It's a polar bear. There's a team in Orlando called the Solar Bears. What? How are you going to be a... I, it don't even make sense. Well, it, it makes it, sense. It's a polar bear with sunglasses on with a sun in the background. Don't know, everybody know that, polar bears don't wear sunglasses. That don't work. <laughs> <laughs> brought, a, uh, brought a player with you this morning, Caleb Cameron. Good morning, Caleb. How are you? Not bad. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, tell us a little, about, a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? A uh, little town called Sunridge, Ontario. It's about uh, three or four hours north of Toronto. Okay. Uh, it's, we call it the Sticks. The Sticks, all okay. right. Lots of lakes, lots of forests, so uh, you can get lost out there pretty easy. Well, now, it sounds like Putnam County. <laughs> It sounds a little, just a little colder. It's just yeah, a little colder. Canada. <laughs> now, if I had to guess, um, you started playing hockey around three years old. Yeah, four, that seems wow. to be seems yeah. to be the going thing. Two to four. Uh, I started skating when I was two years old, and then uh, started playing when I was four. My mom was a, a terrific hockey player, and then her father, my grandfather, played professional over in Europe. So okay. uh, nice. I kind of got it from them. So started out early. Now that's a little shocking. I you, you don't think of moms. As being hockey players. Yeah, no, my dad was a football player. Uh, so Jesus. She actually taught him how to play hockey. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, yeah, loved it. Loved so it. your mama was the truth then. Yeah, yeah, she was a good hockey player. Uh, but, Don't mess uh, with Caleb's mom. Don't mess with yeah. Caleb's mom. She will yeah. check you harder than the football player there will. You know. That's exactly you know. right. So um, I got a question because I've noticed as I've seen pictures of kids playing hockey and kids ice skating, what's up with the PVC walker? Did you start on that? Uh, I think, I mean, I couldn't really tell you. I don't think so. I think uh, they pretty much they strapped, just put you on strapped the boots on and just shoved you out there. <laughs> if you fall, you fall. Yeah, Get good, up. Good luck. Uh, no, I think that's just an, another technique that people are using these days just for balance and everything like that, right? Yeah. Um, so what they do, they, it's like a walker? It looks yeah. like a walker, but it's made out of PVC pipe. Yeah, oh. and it just slides, is, yeah. just slides along the ice. Wow. So. That's why I'm gonna need that to learn how to skate, dude. I was gonna say I'm gonna need one of those for next season, <laughs> doing the games out on the ice. I'm gonna need one of those PVC walkers. Yeah. Go ahead and get me one, Alex. 
I mean, I don't care. I look, I look crazy doing it. Look, Big I'm just going to say. Black man with a walker just. I'm just going to say <laughs> it has been, and I may be jinxing myself because I still have to do the game Friday, but I've not fallen on the ice once. Oh, you go bust your ass this week. Yeah. <laughs> you go bust your ass this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm knocking for you right now. <laughs> knocking hard. Yep. I've not fallen yet. Caleb, uh, how, how do you like making? I mean, how many years have you played for the Mayhem? Is this your first season? or No, this is my second. second? Uh, my girlfriend and I love it. Uh, you know, it's really become, you know, a second second home to us. Oh, that's awesome. uh, we ended up actually adopting a dog from Macon. So we have oh, a little, very nice. now we have a little root here. Yeah, so, uh, Thank you for doing that. Yeah, adopting the dog. I'm applauding your girlfriend on that because I assume it was her idea. Uh, no, actually. See, give that a hand. Let the some credit here. We'll applaud some credit here. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, uh, we love it. I mean, when you can play hockey in a, a town that uh, you can also golf at the same, you know, in the same uh, day. Like a little golf, huh? By the pool or, okay. you know, do something like that where, you know, it's not always snowing. I think, uh, I think you've pretty much lived the dream. That is yeah. the upside. Yeah. That is yeah. the upside. Yeah. Downside yeah. is pollen. Yeah, a lot of that, sir. Yeah, and we have a black car, so. Oh, yeah. I'm and sorry. Not this week. You got to that off every yeah. day then. Hit the car wash <laughs> once a week. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's Friday sorry. night, 735 puck drive, fan appreciation night. Uh, Mayhem taking on the Canoxville Ice Bears, mm-hmm. the last home game of the season. Now, mm-hmm. Alex, I talked about this last week. I don't know if maybe I spoiled something I shouldn't. How do we look on getting home games for the playoffs? So, um, right now we are... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so, we are... Uh, I think positive. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Yeah. Caleb. We're uh, the seven seed right now. I'm okay. um, trying to... Yeah, but it's really tight. I mean, we're just yeah. a few points out of the fourth seed, which would give us home ice advantage in the first round. Okay. So that's what we're gunning for the next couple of weeks. Right. Um, it's looking like the first playoff games are probably going to be that April 12th, 13th weekend. Okay. Um, maybe it's 13th, 14th. Can't remember. But it'd be 13th, 14th. That's right. Saturday, Sunday. Thanks. Nope. Nope. Well, then for, you know, mm. 12th, 13th. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I believe I see this happening. Um, the Mayhem are going to go on a tear this week and get the number four position so that they have home games on the 13th. Yeah, and well, that just adds to everything adds else. Adds everything else that we have to do. Right. E- <laughs> Either way, though, we are guaranteed at least one uh, home playoff game at the very least. Okay, so very that, cool. that's right, good so we'll news. Get one. Yeah. All right. See, power positive thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, always positive. All, All right. right. So Friday night, seven thirty-five, fan appreciation night. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Caleb, good yeah. to meet you. Thank you. Here's music from Jackie Green on the Creek.